Good evening. Welcome to High School Volleyball on WOSN. Tonight's coverage brings you to the Supreme Court in Ottawa. The Ottawa Glandorf Titans and Lipsig Vikings squaring off in a non-conference tilt against a couple of pretty good programs over the last couple of years. Garrett yes, Mansfield certainly. and Dar Nevergal with you here tonight. And Dar, this is an exciting one. Two teams that made good tournament runs a year ago, early stages of the season, trying to figure out where they are in 2023. But when you get a Putnam County matchup like this, it's down to, or bound to be a doozy. Oh, it should be. I, like you said, last year, you know, Otto Glendorf had a good season. You know, Lipsick had a, you know, last season was 20 and five, I believe last year. You know, PCL champs and runners up in the Northwest Conference. You know, good early matchup. You know, Lipsick right now 1-0. and You know, Ottawa Glendorf 1-2. and You know, but Lipsick this year has a fairly young team. What they want to try to do is they beefed up their early schedule. Uh, Siegel to start out with. You know, Ottawa Glendorf now for their second game. You know, they've got Liberty Benton on their schedule as well. Fairview, Patrick Henry. A lot of you know, non-conference games to really beef that up. To get ready again for the run in the tournament you know, where they fell a little shorter of what they were expected to do. Yeah, three all-conference in the Northwest Conference players for Lipset graduating from a year ago. Get you a look at the starters here as we get moving to start the action. Addison Bellman puts it in the air for Ottawa Glandorf. A quick attack for Lipset has us on our opening volley of the day and a quick kill from Sienna Fry. Let's meet the rest of the home Lady Titans. Claudia Bag wears number 11. Bailey Krause is in that libero navy uniform at number 14. Bellman will serve again. The rest of her comrades, Katie Kaufman, is a senior, junior Caitlin Kimmett, sophomore number 25, Sienna Fry, and Madison McKee, a freshman, wearing number 31. There's quick attack for Ottawa Glandorf. Let's meet the Lady Vikings early on as that one's nearly saved. That'll be the first side out for Lipsick on the night. Here's their starters. Freshman wearing number one, Jalen at C for Morgan Apple is a junior and number two. Jaden Kump wears number three. She's also a junior. Lone all conference player back from a year ago is senior number seven, Olivia Jones. Denasia Danzi is a sophomore number 12. Fellow sophomore Carmen Brawl wears number 13. And Samantha Hazelton, uh, Libero will be in and out. She wears number 22 and is also a senior. Here's a look at who is on the floor. Currently, Lipsick, the upper hand, two to one early on. And another big swing from Fry. And the leading attacker returning. She had 229 kills as a freshman dar. And not wasting any time getting involved early here. Yeah, she had 19 kills in the first three games so far this season. And that big swing of hers, you know, you better look. Ready, ready for that, she's gonna knock you down with it, you know. But you know, they, you look across the board on this auto off team, you know, the Addison Bellman, for example, you know, she's the best, you know, 632 assists last year. She's had 24 service aces already this year. You know, it, interesting is that 69 ball handles, and she's only had, you know, two errors. I mean, that's, that's incredible. That's a really good clip at this juncture of the year, a couple of matches. Under her belt. This one's set up in front for Jones. Dug out, tapped back up over the top. Titans will keep it in the air. We finally back and forth. Set up cross court attack and dropped in by Morgan Apple. Put Lipsick up four to two early. Mentioned a 20 and five season a year ago for Lipsick, number one seed. Bested by another team in the Northwest Conference, one of their two conferences with Crestview getting the tournament win to move on. Year before that, Lady Vice had the Northwest Conference title shared with Lincoln View, Crestview, and Lipsick. They are used to being at the top of their respective leagues. Jones blocked up front and set back up over the top. That was Madison McKee, the freshman being a blockade up in the front. Big hit oh, nice. on the way and block out of bounds. Denisha Danzi with a big knock. And it was blocked well. Defender was right there, just a little too strong and left the, the boundary. And it's a little rally going on for I'll Lipson. Tell you, I'll tell you what, Gary, you know, Lipson doing a great job of you know, attacking and defending right now. 
It's going to go outside the antenna. And a quick trigger timeout for Ottawa Glandorf. They started, started off, got a couple of the first points of the day, but it's been all lipstick since. We'll take a quick timeout. 7 2, Lady Vikings on WOSN. Charles River in Spencerville is our premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio. They are hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. 7-2 Lipsick here at Ottawa Glandorf to start the match tonight. And we'll serve it up again. And a booming serve from Carmen Bra. And the out of bounds going to give it back to Ottawa Glendorf, Bailey Krause will set it in the air. So the timeout disrupts a little bit of the rhythm for Lipsick. And the Lady Titans will get another point right on back off the top of the fingertips of Ava Henry. And how quickly momentum can switch in a game like this. I mean, volleyball is one of those games that, you know, back and forth, back and forth, and all it takes is one or two plays to, to turn it around. Quickly bet by Dancy. And it's Henry to correct her previous error. Got that point right on back. That's what good players tend to do. Is uh, you make a might make a mistake on one end, but you keep on uh, plugging away to get it back. Well, that was one of the keys that you know the Coach uh, Miller said for Otto Glendorf is we got to control Danzy and Jones. And you can't let her free to get those kind of shots out. Yeah, there's like the that. hit for Danzy. She might have gotten in the way of the net and did not. She had 18 kills coming into this one in that first game, and that was a you know a 3-1 win for a, for a Lipsick in the first game. But you know, 18 kills, four aces in that game, you know, just dominated. Yeah, that serve received, kind of too close to the net, and eventually tapped up over the top. A broken play turns in the points for Ottawa Glandor. Sienna Fry will serve now. Lipsick with that early 9-5 lead on the Charles River scoreboard. Comes back to meet Olivia Jones, then in the middle for Apple, blocked up front. Good recovery there by Lipsick. And there's a hit right in the middle of no man's land. Claudia Mag dropped it where nobody was. Ottawa Glandorf chipping away here. Make a little bit of a run, you know, just got to be consistent. That's the main thing is, you know, find ways to score against the this scrappy defense that you got to see on this uh, Lipsick side. They're just all over the place. So, you know, they're, they're very fundamental, very disciplined team. 4-2 since the timeout until the serve into the net by Fry. And now the Vikes will tee it up again. Yeah, the Lipsick coach, Brent Newell, has been around. He's in his 10th year at Lipsick. 193 and 37 coming into this one. Overall, as a coach, 286 and 91. That'll get the job done. I think it will. More often than not, Titans have to rush it over on the third hit. Goes beyond boundary. We'll stay with Lipsick. Samantha Hazelton lines up the serve and sends it right at. Caitlin Kimmett. Kimmett just on the third hit, just bumps it over the top of the net. Back to Danzy. And initially wow. received it, but could not quite dig it out, get it over the net on the other end. And Danzy's just a sophomore, but boy, what a powerful you know, swing that she has on that. And she knows exactly where she wants to put it, too, and that was a good spot right in the middle of the court. Bellman. Sets up and up over the end for Ottawa Glendor. Tapped over by Fry. Going to set up Danzy again. Cross court attack. Bellman dug it out and it had a second hit. Titans going to quite track down the third to knock it over the over the tape. Thirteen to six. Lipsick already over halfway to a set one attempt. Amory Young into the game for Ottawa Glandorf in the middle. Kimmett comes down and it's going to go right at Young, but 
too strong and out the back. Well, I kind of see a pattern developing here for Lipsy. You know, get it over to Danzy as quick as you can and let her just fire away. And, you know, Otto Glandorf's got to counter that somehow to get it away from where she's standing at. Jump serve from Mag. One dig and over. And there's a strike from Ottawa Landorf, dug out nicely by Hazelton. Danzy is blocked oh, up God. front. Katie Kaufman got in the way. And that's defensively for Ottawa Landorf, right where they would like to draw that up. Get Kaufman slid over. And yeah, that'd be Kaufman's fifth uh, block this year in this early season. They're going to go to Danzy. She kind of goes with the changeup and it's tapped back. Now Jones has to knock it over the the top and can't quite do so. It's out of a Glandorf, another point back. Again, another little mini run for Otto Glandorf. They can keep this momentum. A little strong. Jones keeps it in the air. Now Danzi knocks it over. And we're going to get Otto Glandorf in the net. Looks like they're going to get Kaufman the guilty party. Jalen Seifer rotates back into the contest and she'll serve now for Lipsick. And off the top of the net and there's nothing oh, you can really no, do with that with the defense playing back. No, that's, that's your perfect serve right there. Just at the top of that net and drop right over. And it, do it does again. it again, back to wow. back. Same formation defensively or close to it. Ottawa Glandorf playing back and soft there in that front left, and they're going to trigger another timeout, and it comes with the score 19, or 16 to 9. Ottawa Glandorf ahead of Lipstick. We'll keep it with you right here to remind you that there's no admission fee to watch this game, but there is a cost for it for us to bring it to you in broadcast form. Say thanks to viewer supported TV44 by sending a financial gift today. TV44 relies on the donations of viewers to enable airing this game and other locally produced programs. Donate now at WTLW.com slash donate. And with that, it allows us to also operate and power up the brand new WOSN scores app, new and approved. Sure to make sure that is updated. Old version will not work for you anymore. So nope, if you're listening to this, not. need to get that new WOSN scores app on whichever app store you are linked into. And you'll be able to stay up to date everywhere you are in your Friday nights, your Thursday evenings. Tuesdays. Tuesday <laughs> nights as we are here tonight. Wherever. Saturdays, whatever. Exactly right. Quick and easy there on the WOS on the scores out. Back after the timeouts. And the serve over for Seifer, the freshman for Lipsick. And she's going to dig it out nicely just in front of the 10 foot line. And Ottawa Glandorf going to pick up a quick point. Caitlin Kimmett and some tip and tap back and forth on top of the net. And Dayton's back in double figures or in double figures for the first time. Yeah, the Titans made a couple of adjustments after that timeout. They moved up a little bit in, towards the net, you know, and, and kind of filled those gaps in. Clara Wishmeyer serves it up for Ottawa Glandorf. And another Danzy attack leads to a Titan in the net. See who they got on that time. It looks like they're putting up 3-1. That would be Madison McKee. When you look at the, just the stature of these two teams, Dar, you, you see the sides of Ottawa Glandorf. That is obvious, but right now Lipsick with their athleticism and some power really starting to force its will in this first set. And just great defense. They've been playing good defense this whole set. And it, you know, moving around, I mean, they have their power hitter and Danzy out there, but really when you watch their defense and their ability to attack and, and move around the way they do, they're just covering a, a lot of territory out there. Danzy serve. Ooh. Even the serve is strong. <laughs> Deflected off of Claudia Mag. Well, she was 15 for 17 in serving coming into this, you know, in that first game. So she can serve the ball, and she showed it right there. Back of the air, and Mag able to keep it in the air. It's going to be a third hit over the top for Kimmett. 
to find Olivia Jones on that left side. Couldn't quite clear the net. Service goes back to Otherwick Landorf. Bellman will drop back and send it up. Goes to Danzy, good receive. Set up by Brawl and sent over, and that'll be another score for the Vikes, their first to 20. Not only is she hitting it hard, she kind of hits it, so it's got a little spin on it, too, which makes it very difficult to return. Morgan Apple's spot rotates to the front row, so she taps in for the libero Hazelton. And Lipstick scores quickly off of their serve. Cup will drop back, keep it going. Yeah, we mentioned that the roof here is in play, and that one went straight up and hit right between two rafters. Dugouts. A good point, Dark, is this is one of the, I guess, lower ceilings that we do play uh, in this current era where a lot of school districts have upgraded their gyms. And that means with that, new gyms and higher ceilings, higher ceilings, and you just don't have a whole lot of that. But It's very I, difficult because you don't know where it's going to bounce. And that one came went straight up and straight down. But a lot of times you hit yep. one of these rafters, who knows where it's going to go. Yep, exactly right. Is That one's just a little too strong. But all that in mind, there is a ton of magic in a place like this, oh, Dar, because you can feel the intensity. It gets loud, and you don't have all the bleachers pulled out here tonight. But it is definitely one of the more special venues in all of Northwest Ohio. And the Otto Glendorf fans follow their teams. There's yes, no they doubt do. about it. No matter what the sport is, you can expect them to be there to follow it. Two to set point for Lipsick. Cameron Brawl sends it into the air. And that sets up match, or set point, should say. First set point coming up for Lipsick in a dominant first set for the Lady Vikings. Sophomore will key it back into play. And receive air by the Lady Titans. Brings it to 25-12. Lipsick takes set one. We'll take a timeout and return. We'll reset them to 0-0 on the Charles River scoreboard. When we come back, you're watching High School Volleyball on WOSM. High School Volleyball continues at Ottawa Glandorf, Garrett Mansfield, Darren Evergall, Lady Titans, and Lipsick. Lady Vikes took the first set 25 to 12, Dar, and it was kind of, had some moments of closeness early in that set, but Lipsick caught a groove and really made quick work of that first set. We'll see how this second one decides to go. Yeah, they, you know, Lipsick's defense and the, the attack of, you know, this, of uh, Danzy really dominated in that first set. Like I said, Otto Glendorf did make a couple runs, but they weren't able to sustain them. Looks like we have a Titan over top of the net. Sienna Fry, pretty antsy in that ball, just kind of hovering right at the, right at the net and kind of went up over the top. So here's the serve back in. Denasia Danzi with that serve. Otto Glendorf sends it into the net and looks like a reset. That was a tough start for the second set for Ottawa Glendorf. You know? And that's a tough one when you're trying to block uh, you know, up close to the net, not to go over the net. Bailey Krause will tip it up and actually not able to clear it there. There's some miss hits for the Ottawa Glendorf right now. I think they're a little rattled after that first set. They need to calm themselves down. Realize, you know, you got a long ways to go. You're down three nothing, but there's a long ways to go in this set here. So you just calm yourself down, you know, and start hitting. Fry saves it from going out of bounds, and third hit up over for the three-year letter winner Kaufman. She blocks up in front. Her and Mag are there to block the next attack by Lipsick. Now Bellman to Kaufman over the top. Dug up by Seifer. They're going to go Jones' direction. And she sends it straight down, Olivia Jones. 
the lone all-conference player back on this Lipsick team. Lady Vikings take a early 4-0 advantage thanks to the kill from the senior. We'll take the early timeout as well. Ottawa Glandorf trying to regroup early in set two on WOSM. Perfect start to the second set for Lipsick on it. The away courts here at Ottawa Glandorf. And we have early contact with the Nets. That first volley back over gives Ottawa Glandorf maybe some of those points that they've been searching for. Everyone valuable when you have a start to a set that way. And now they can kind of take the possession and try to take over here. They definitely need that one point right there. Now, now like I said, Barrett, let's see if you can put something together and have a nice little run here. Over on the third hit. Good job by Addison Bellman to keep that hit alive, but a little too strong on the attack. For Ottawa Glandorf on, that was Kaufman. Set a little too strong. Well, there's no doubt as. Addison Bellman is her anchor in the middle there. And this team defense for Lipsick, keeping that ball off the floor as Kaufman is able to drop it in front. Alec Landorf looking for rhythm. Hazelton checks in on the defensive end for Lipsick. Well, we talked about Otto Glandorf. They have, definitely have a height advantage up front, but these Lipsick uh, Viking players have such athleticism. They get up there really high. But now with that height up front, you think Otto Glendorf can really attack it. Danzy trouble handling that serve from Mag, and now Mag will send it back right to Danzy. She handles it that time. Set up for Jones. She's blocked up front. Otto Glendorf calling for a lift on that previous attempt, and now goes off ceiling and then straight down. A yeah, point for Lipsick. There's an example of what we're talking about when you get up there, hit that rafter instead of coming directly down, it went off to the left a little bit. And a short serve, Carmen Brow. A little sinking action for the sophomore. With the ace, she'll do it again. And that will be just below the top of the tape. Landorf subbing in a couple. Madison McKee for the libero Kraus. End of the back row to serve, Clara Wishmeyer. Senior with a couple of letters from years past. Well, too much power on the serve, goes beyond the back line. Lipstick will take the side out. Yeah, if you're the Titans, you can't afford you know, unforced errors like that. Jones sends it, and the set off target. Jones will retreat again for Lipsick. Senior for the Lady Vikings, one of four. On to Henry Kirkendall and Hazelton. Out of a Glandorf just right now, kind of, it's one of those times at the at junctures of the game where you're just looking for a clean dig, set, and spike, aren't you? Yeah, you certainly are. You only have one time out on the board, so you, know, you don't want to call it yet. You want to hang on to it. But... Big right. block up front by Danzy. Yeah, she, she's known for her kills, but that one right there, I tell you what, getting up there as high as you get. We talked about their athleticism, and that's just it. They're not as tall but they really get up there. For the round on the attack for Caitlin Kimmett. And then out the back again for OG. And this one's getting away from the Titans rather quickly. They need to, you know, calm themselves down a lot and just get a point. Mag receives. Set up here. And an attack from Henry. Henry comes up with a block up front. And now, 
now setting up for Kimmett. Can't get over the net. It's like there's that extra, it's like there's that seventh player right now yeah. out there for Lipsick. And yeah, they're taking advantage of that net really well. And, and that was just kind of a misfire there by Kimmett. Kimmett not to get a, a clean hit on that one. Bellman sets there it, it up for Buttlemeyer, and the sophomore gets one down and through. Her first kill tonight. And her third kill of the season so far. And they needed that one desperately. Able to break up the rally on the other end for Lipsick. Hazleton receives the serve. They're going to go right to Danzy. Man, and it's oh. dug out by Mag. And who are they going to call here? They're going to get a player in the net for Adelaide Landor. Madison McKee, the freshman, a little too tight to that middle line. Boy, I'll tell you what, you saw the power of Danzy on that one. Allie Schrader in. Junior swapped out for the freshman. And uh, Bailey Kraus got that one received a little too close to the elbow. And another good angle flies out. 14-6 on the Charles River scoreboard. And there's that timeout by Otto Glandorf just over halfway to the needed 25 of the second set for Lipsick. We'll take the timeout as well. You're watching High School Volleyball here on WOSN. Second of a handful of times here on WOSN for the OG Titan Volleyball Squad. There down the Coldwater spike off went one and two. Willie gets New Knoxville, Coldwater Fort Loramie bested them in two sets each on those best of three invitationals. Got another non-conference test within Putnam County here against Lipsick. And the Lady Titans, their next match will be their conference opener against the Kenton Wildcats in the WBL play. Hard to believe already for some uh, volleyball conferences. And out of the timeout, Oliver Glandorf is able to get a quick point, get it back. When we talked about Lipsick, you know, in 7-1, the Northwest Conference, this is their last year in the Northwest yep. Conference. They're moving on to the BBC next year. Back to familiar pasture in the BBC. Big, uh, strong attack for Ottawa Glendorf. They'll get another point back. And Schrader will continue to serve. Fires it right into Jones. And the receiver keeps it in the back row. I should correct myself. Emory Young back doing the service. See if they can make it three in a row. He does. That's just what Alec Landorf needed. Well timed timeout. Finding some magic sauce here in the second set. Down by as many as 10. And right in to the net on the serve here. Well, they found some success here. How can they try to harness that back again as Jalen Seifer for Lipsick? Rejoins the action. I'll tell you, watching volleyball, you know, and how far it's progressed since William Morgan invented it in 1895. I mean, you know, if you could see it now, he'd be like, what in the world? Big time block. He had a lot faster and heavy hitting. Maybe ever imagined. I'm sure Dr. Naismith could probably join that conversation with his Yes, name. he could. Here's Danzy, goes with the changeup. Kept up by the Lady Titans, a little tip at the net. And they're going to get the Vikes in the stripe. They're going to get Jaden Cup at the center line. That was a smart move there on that one there, just to tip it over and not try to hit it hard. You know, catch the Lipsy Vikings out of position. And Bailey Krause on the serve. A little tip off of Lipsick, and they will burn their first timeout of the day. 
Vikings are Titans on a 7-1 run right at the moment. Able to climb right back into this second set. Lipsick took the first set 25-12 on that Charles River scoreboard. During this timeout, remind you of Charles River in Spencerville, premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility here in Northwest Ohio. They are now hiring. Visit Sea River to apply today. However, you're watching WOSN. There is the streaming uh, service option for you as well. New pricing for the 23-24 school year, $8 a month, where you can watch WOSN from anywhere at any time. You can sign up today at app.wosn.tv. Also available through Roku and Apple TV. That's the WOSN stream. 16 to 12 on that Charles River scoreboard. Ottawa Landorf continues to serve away. Senior Bailey Kraus, a couple of varsity letters for her through her time here at Ottawa Landorf. Sends a short serve, but dug out nicely by Hazelton. Bikes able to bump it over the top on the third hit. Kraus underhand set and blocked up high by Denasia Danzi. Sienna Fry was trying to go through her. And now the Lady Vikes can drop back and take the serve once again. Yeah, the Titans, he's just back though. They can't let Lipsick go on any kind of run right now. That's one Kenneth. way to do it. <laughs> right over the head. Make that Sienna Fry right over the head of Danzi. In that back corner, perfectly placed. And now she gets the right on time, drop back and serve. Fry sends it to Danzi. And the hit up high by Cup. Knocked around by Ottawa Glandorf. Set up for Olivia Jones. Blocked, but it's Danzi will knock it over the top and unable to be handled uh, by the Lady Titans. Last touch by Amory Young. I think Danzi was just trying to save it right there. She really wasn't expecting it to go to a point, but. Whatever it takes. Morgan Apple back to the contest for Lipsick. Another block in the front by, by Jones. We got a whistle. Might have four hits. That is the call for Ottawa Landorf seeding another point to Lipsick. So the tally is 19-13. The first to 25. Second set, best of five here at the varsity level. Ottawa Landorf took the JV contest, two to one. And Jones off the tip at the point of attack. It's the Lady Vikes, first to 20 for the second set in a row. Uh, if, you gotta be, if you're Coach Newell, you gotta be happy with what you're seeing from your Viking team. I mean, a combination of Jones and Danzi up front, you know, along with some very good setting in the backside. Apple receives that. And ooh, you had Jones oh. and Danzi going after it. Usually that's a recipe for disaster, but it gets over the top. Set up for Apple, blocked up high by Kaufman. Set for Mag, and she'll just, with a little two-hand touch over the top. And that's, that's it. laser focus there by Jones to that back row, or to that back line, just is able to sneak it in. That couldn't have been in by much, I'll tell you. Very, very tight window for Jones to squeeze that in. Jaden Cup on the serve that time for Lipsick. Big block up front, but until I get amongst the spectators. And we move to 21 14. That's like a 100 mile an hour fastball that you hit, that you hit but. As long as you can barrel it up, he might be able to do That's some right. damage. But in most cases, it's just self-defense. Aaron served by Mag. So the service goes back to Carmen Brown. 22 to 14. And the lipstick serve. Ricocheted off by Kraus, but Titan's able to knock it over the above the net. Can't save it a second time. 
Yeah, I think Vikings are feeling it right now. They, you know, they sense a, the kill right here. 23-14. They'd like to put it away right now. Here in the air it goes. You know, it doesn't matter to me what kind of what level, what style of play, what real is how talented either side really is. When you get on a roll in yep. this game, man, you can really get on a roll and put away a team in a hurry. Fortunately, right now for Ottawa Glandorf, though, is they are not quite going away, hanging right in there. And it's some of these are the moments in which you can take away something for future sets oh, to absolutely. keep you in the contest. Great block there by Buttermeyer on that one there. But you're right. I mean, you know. It is a game of momentum. It is a game of adrenaline. And if you can get, you know, you get hyped up, you know, you jump higher, you hit harder, a lot of things go into it. Great pass by Ava Henry, sets up Morgan Apple, and now it's set point. Very, very good. Really, really good pass and a late sub trying to come in for Ottawa Glendorf. See what we got here. Should be Lipsick subbing or uh, Lipsick serving away. And uh, Olivia Jones does just that. Big swing and too oh. strong. Ottawa Glandorf down two sets to none, 25-16. Sienna Fry tried to keep it rolling for a little bit longer for OG. But Lipstick takes a two-cent lead here in Ottawa. We'll take a timeout, return, set that Charles River scoreboard, roll it back to 0-0 when we come back. You're watching it, the West Ohio Sports Network. Twenty-five, twelve, twenty-five, sixteen. That is the body of work to this point for the Lipstick Vikings with a two cent to none advantage through the first two sets. Ottawa Glandorf will begin with service in set number three. Garrett Manson alongside Dar Nevergal and Dar. We've seen Lipstick really handle their business through the first two sets and we're set up nicely here. They just need one more set to take the match. Yeah, and if you watched them when they came out of that, you know, back onto the court, you can see the difference in the two teams. You got Lipstick over here, you know, smiling, you know, loose, you know, they feel confident right now. And then you saw the determination on Otto Plandorf's side to come out here and say, no, we're not done yet. It's Addison Bellman to start the serve, blocked in the front by Sienna Fry, alongside Caitlin Kimmett. Big hit by Buttlemeyer, blocked by the Vikings, and then it taken care of. OG not able to bounce back from the big block. Great job by the Vikings on that one there, just to get up there and you know and block that one. You can see the determination from the Titans' face. You know, they were, thought they were going to get a point off of that one, but Lipsick repelled it. And that one finds its way through. Caitlin Kimmett powers it through that first row of defense, or even up at one. Samantha Hazleton snakes back in for Lipsick from the defensive end. Amory Young will do the serve. Off the top of the net and drops right in front of Denasia Danzi. I said the most effective serve you can get is hit the top of that net and have it slow down the momentum enough to drop it into the dead zone. Young is out a healthy amount of service points today. Set up for Apple, trying to go through that left side. OG keeps it in the air. Finally, Kraus sends it up over the edge. Jones fires in, and Alec Landorf too close to midcourt again. Seen a lot of those violations tonight, Dar. Quite a few. I mean, like I said, Alec Landorf's got the tall girls up front, and they're trying to get a crowd that net as much as they can for those blocks. But Service 
But too much power from Carmen Brown. And for a rare time, yep. Titans are up 3-2. I was just about to say, I think this is the first time this evening the Lady Titans have had an edge. Goes to Danzi and dug out nicely up front by Brow and is able to sneak its way over the top thanks to a Henry third hit. Dug out by Hazelton. There goes the tip. Diving stop by Danzi. Great volley back and forth on this attempt. Good block by Lipsick. Now Henry with the third hit. And oh, just got a piece wow. of the pinky of Katie Kaufman before it falls down to the hardwood. Good exchange right there. Great job by both teams to keep that ball going. And Hazleton wisely lets it go over her head. Good communication there by the Vikings too to you know, let each other know where that ball is going to be. Olivia Jones on that last serve. Brow with a good dig. One to Danzi, too strong. Sienna Fries turned to serve for Ronald Glendorf. Up two. She's going to go for that back left and not quite able to keep it in. That was, looked pretty close in the back. Line judge was right on top of it. Had a good angle. That was Lipsick. Sorts out the lineup. Jaden Kump into the front row. And we'll serve it down one. Yeah, the dimensions of a volleyball court, there's not a lot of room for some of these you know, spikes down there. Hazleton serve, and Ottawa Glandorf not able to even return it. Five all. Second straight serve for Hazleton. And it's a beaut right in the middle of the floor. Young trying to step up and dig it out. Didn't have enough leverage. Now perfect spot right there for that kind of serve. This one goes to Mag. A little back set for Fry and Fires it right in to the separator. And timeout out of Glandor. They're going to trigger it early again. Falling behind now. Seven to five. A little rally going for Lipsick. We'll take the timeouts here. And set three. Vikes trying to go with the straight set win. Out of Glandor trying to keep it right where it is here on WOSN. Charles River scoreboard here on WOSN. Reed 7-5 Lipsick in the third set. Two set to none advantage for the Lady Vikings. Best of five format here at the varsity level. Lipsick wins the race to 25. They get the match victory. Ceiling again as we said a couple times live tonight. Lipsick not able to clear the net. Well, the other thing that little rally by Lipsick did too is force Otto Glendorf into using one of their timeouts. So they're down to one timeout left now. Wishmeyer and a Buttlemeyer into the game for Otto Glendorf up front. So it rotates around for Clara Mag to serve. Tipped around it, and it's Kraus over the top of the net. There goes Danzi, block, Jones keeps it up. On to Brow and then to Ava Henry. There's the swing for Buttlemeyer, blocked. Not able to pry it away before it goes down to the hardwood. 6-8. Like Caden Cup on that one, a junior for uh, the Vikings. Had two blocks in their first game. There was another block right there. Jalen Seifert, freshman to serve. Created by Kraus. And 
Bartlemeyer with the hit along the left side. Knocked over by Lipsick. In the middle, and Kaufman didn't have an angle. Called for Bottlemeyer to scoot in there. But the ball and gravity yep. win the brace to the floor. Too close to the bottom of that net to get to it. Received right in the middle by Krause before it sends around over the net, back into Lipsick. Side of the floor, and we would have a tip there, really smashed by Denasia Danzi, she was all over the place in set one. A little quiet in set two, she definitely got her, got her hits in. But here so far in set three, kind of been held in check. Here's a Kaufman hit, dug out by Seifer. Here's back to Danzi, and she had a nice little yep. arc on that hit, able to bend it down in front of that back corner. Forces an 11-6 timeout. Here in the third set, and Ottawa Glandorf uses their last stoppage. We'll do it too. 11-6 Lipsick here in Ottawa Glandorf on WOSN. Charles River in Spencerville, a premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio. They are hiring. Visit jobs.criver to apply today. 6-11 on that Charles River scoreboard. Ottawa Landorf, the home team, on the short end tonight in points in this set and in the set race. They were able to get a gimme right in the front out of the timeouts. Causes their rotations. Well, at one point, they were up 5-3 before Vikings went on their run. And that point there for the Otto Glendorf was solely needed just to, just to break that momentum that the Vikings had gone. Kalen Kimmett and now Kennedy Fuca into the contest. Fuca with the serve. Nice dig by Mag. Some confusion in the middle for Lipsick. Turns into another Otto Glendorf score. Fuca will keep it going. With the service. A lot of open space on either side for Lipstick, but they quickly fill it. They go to Asia Danzi and right in front of the line judge with the cross court attack. Danzi, three of the last four Lipstick points, believe. And I'll tell you what, she uses that in line. I, she doesn't miss by much on it. Make some hay on that left side. And a hard serve to handle for Claudia Mag. You can almost see the arc from where we are. This that's the one thing about Ottawa Glandorf is we do get a little different broadcast angle so we can see the ball a little differently than we would normally. We're perfectly able to see the movement on Danzi's ball arcing up and down. We got a little bit of a timeout by the officials. Say, Defender for Ottawa Glandorf went down. A little moisture needs picked up. And it's 14-8, Lipsick, and continue to roll here in the third set. The thing with Dancy is she, like, she's so athletic that you know you can see her when she leaves her feet. She knows exactly where that ball is at the height of her jump that she can power it down. And you're right about the arc when you watch it come down. Able to dig it out. A great teamwork all around for Lipstick tonight. Seems like all six on the court have had a contribution at some point on the defensive end and the offensive side. There's no doubt that they know their roles. They're very disciplined, very fundamental. They know where they're supposed to be. They know what they're supposed to do. And to be tipped out. And Ottawa Glando for benefit from that strike. Bellman will drop back to serve, but you know when it's August and your and your depth is showing off in August, that's usually a, a nice sign for the season. Have options all over the floor. This time they go to Cup. Bellman keeps it up. And we have a midline violation. And we do against Ottawa Glandworth. 
Caitlin Kimmett came down. It looks like she, she jumped and came down on top of the line. That's one of the, I guess, subtle rules, but yeah. ends up turning yeah. out a lot. You see that common violation. Imagine that vertical line of, or that line of verticality that goes all the way up and you can't cross. And when you're playing that close to the net the way Otto Glendorf has been doing, that's, you know, those kind of calls you're gonna end up, that's the first one we've seen, but you can expect to have those kind because you're so close. 16 to 10. And Young will serve now for Adelaide Landorf. Buttlemeyer heads to the bench. And there's the young serve. Danzi receives. Set up for Jones. And a little bit out of reach for Young. Gives the service right back to Lipsick. Side out Vikings. Well, that's the other thing, too, between Jones and Danzi. You know, they know where everybody's at, and you can see the hole right there where everybody was pulled up for Otto Glendorf except one person back, and there's no way that they were going to be able to get to that ball. And that was a hit for Fry, but blocked up front. Apple and Jones were there. Over to Jones on that left side. Loft balance, but she gets it over. They're going to go to the direction of Claudia Mag, and she rips it. <laughs> Claudia Mag. Great finish there. It's so impressive when you see a player from the, that hugs the sideline on a hit just like Mag just did. A lot of hours, a lot of miss hits that, that lead to perfecting that. And something they needed in their arsenal too. Yep. Somebody besides you know, the big girls up front to have somebody come in there and hit that one there. Hunt blocks, but Danzi and Jones get it back over the top. That's a senior right there. Yeah, Don't have to overpower it. All you have to do is tap it over into, into no yep. man's land. Too quick for the rotate, rotation over for OG, 18-11. And the serve's in. Bellman tips it back to Fry, and her strike too strong. Tried to find that back corner, but a little off target. Lipsick up 19-11 and in command in the third set. They win it to 25 here, then they take the match. One of those start thanks to a four set win over Otsego. In which the, that, in that match, they took the first two sets in that one, too. Tonight was 25-12, 25-16. Right now, 19-12 after OG takes it, takes the serve back. And dropped it right in front. Nice serve by Sienna Fry using the top of the net. Maybe not intentionally, but she definitely <laughs> no. got the assist for placing it there. Well, we've seen several of them tonight like that, and they've all dropped into the, you know, no man land right there. Serve is in, and Fry, pursued by Danzi, set up for Danzi, tipped it at the point of attack. And all that Fry can do is underhand hit it for the third. And in the middle, it's Morgan Apple that finishes off in the middle of that purple and gold attack. We'll swap out for Jaden Cup. You look at this young Lipstick team, there's only three seniors out there on this squad. <laughs> Powerful strike. Leads to another Ottawa Landorf score. Lipsick has both timeouts, but I think they're content right now, up six, and only need five to go. Claudia Mag serves, Hazelton receives. And I go to Jones. Krause just has to defend herself. I think the, you know, the Vikings feel pretty confident because OG has not been able to put a run of more than two or three at a time. And they're gonna hit it out the back. 
to send Jalen Seifer in the serve. Yeah, they feel they feel like you know. It, it, yeah, we give up one or two in a row, but we're not going to give up three or four. So. Bellman to Kaufman and Jones try to pop in from the back row. If I get there, it's going to be Ottawa Glandorf within six, and it'll be Fuca. Rotates around and will enter to serve. And puts Katie Kaufman on the bench with her position in the back row. And look at that. Yeah. Carmen Brow right up over the top and inside the 10 foot line. Tanasia Danzi serving here again, just a sophomore, has played beyond her years from our first look at her. Serve received by Mag over to Buttlemeyer and blocked in the front. And that's advantage like you've had tonight is because they would Danzi and Jones spiking the ball the way they have been. Excuse me. And receive and the really good job by Buttlemeyer having to get that one off the ceiling and to turn into an OG score. Rolling with the punches there. Yep. Well, I was saying with Danzi and Jones, you know, being able to spike the way they have, you've been also able to just tap it over, you know, and catch OG off guard. Jump serve for Addison Bellman. Seifer to Brown, out of Danzi, back row attack. It's gonna go out to the right. Now Lipstick knows they got some points to play with here. There's a little bit of room for air. And in fact, they have a couple of sets for air at the moment. And the Bellman serve. Brow to Jones. And we got a player in the net. See where the ripple was. And it came from Ottawa Glandorf. Sienna Fry was there. And now match point for Lipsick. Jaden Cup will serve. You see Morgan out for coming back in. Kraus, and I get whacked over the end. Caitlin Kimmett with the kill. Amory Young will check back in to serve for Ottawa Glandorf, and if Lipstick's able to finish off the match, they will do so without holding serve. Side out for OG. Young lines it up. It was right to Danzi. Brown, Jones, tips. Third hit over, and double hit on OG ends the match. A clean sweep for the Lipstick Vikings tonight at Ottawa Glandorf. They go 25 12, 25 16, 25 18. And improved a 2 0 on the year. They drop out of Landorf to 1 and 3. And Dar, that's a 21 program from last season, 17 and 3 the year before. They well, take on a bigger school here tonight. They're a D4 program against Division 3. So that's meaningful. Getting yourself prepared by playing the very good schools around you, too, in non conference. And Lipsick. A huge victory in the early part of their season tonight. Well, uh, absolutely. And, you know, like I said, they wanted to stack their program with non-conference schools to get themselves ready for later in the, in the season. And the big thing for Lipsy tonight is you saw, you know, their athleticism. You saw their discipline on defense. You saw the way they moved around. Yeah, they took advantage of their, their big strikers up front and Jones and Danzi, but really it wasn't just them. Everybody contributed on that Vikings team. You know, they had a disadvantage on height, but they also made up for it <coughs> in uh, getting up high off the uh, floor to make those spikes. So, yeah, good Vikings team, and they're, and they're going to go far this year. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. An impressive win tonight in straight sets. And again, 25-12, 25-16, 25-18 on the Charles River scoreboard. Thanks to all the folks here at Ottawa Glendorf, A.D. Tyson McLaughlin, head coach Amber Miller, Head coach of the Lipstick Vikings, Brent Newell. And of course, all the folks 
at WOSN as well. Bring the action to you here tonight. He's Darn Evergall. I'm Garrett Mansfield saying so long from the Supreme Court. Thank you for watching High School Sports on WOSN.